Hi, this is Debbie Dusick with Gutsy Women, and that's with a Z. We are going to talk a little bit further with Tisha Cassida and Kimberly Schaub with That's Natural, because we didn't really delve into what was it that, that uh, of course there was a passion for sustainability, and that's great because our world really needs um, sustainability leadership and we need environmentally conscious, conscious businesses and we need environmentally conscious people. And I think my personal opinion is that women are leading the way in that respect because they're natural nurturers, they give life, they, they, they keep life healthy. And now they're seeing our earth being destroyed and what's happening with war. And, our, and so um, one of the things that I align myself with is evolution. And that's the, the feminine spirit coming into business, making it softer, making it more real, making it um, not as hypey, and making it more honest. And so that's my passion, and that's why I came up with Gutsy Women, was to help women reach the point where they had the abundance to be able to make a difference. Because sometimes when you're in poverty level, you're, just, you're, you're, you're not sustainable. And, and everything is just about just trying to claw your way out. And so my vision is, is that as we get more tech savvy and as we grow our businesses and as we grow more abundant, then we can use our talents and our money to create the positive change in the world that we're really looking for. So I want to ask both of these ladies about their passions and what spurred them on to open up their businesses. Well, as far as that's natural, there were some personal events in my life at the right at the beginning of college that had made me dive into reading about natural and organic, those buzzwords, because my brother and I ended up very, very sick. And so I started to research not only the health, but since I was going to school for business and political science, I learned a lot about companies and profit motives, and I've learned a lot about um, the environment and, and some of the politics behind that. So what I what happened is after I graduated is I, I wanted to really find a way to put all those three types of knowledge together and to help people at the same time. But the key was I wanted to make money. So I I <laughs> that old that old profit motive keeps popping up. I don't know what the deal is with that. Unfortunately, yeah, it did. But I, I had toyed with starting a nonprofit, but then um, with my background in business and marketing, I thought, you know, I really think there's a way that you can market products and services that are sustainable, and I think there's a way to make money doing that. And so that's when I started the publication because um, it does two things: it, it educates it educates people about sustainability, things going on in the community, why they should be involved and concerned, but at the same time, it's promoting products and services that are helping them. And so it's, it's a combination of that. And my passion, really, when you get right down to it, is seeing somebody get healthier, or seeing um, a business owner get more customers so that they can keep their business, or seeing an artist who nobody has ever seen their work, right. now they're exposed to the community and the public. And that is, that's what makes me feel good. That gives me shiver. I just I enjoy that. I really, yeah. really enjoy that. Especially in as Debbie's talked about I think Pueblo, Colorado, it's really hard to spin, you know, spin people's minds sometimes and it's it's good. And how about you, Kim? For me it is a big community thing. Food has always been an integral part of my life. Um, as a child I was playing cooking and I played uh, with a donut shop and um, cooking, and more often than not, I would force my brother to sit here with all of my stuffed animals all lined up and I'd serve you a meal. <laughs> because what I believe in community is the education piece, but it's also what is bringing us together, what, what makes us sit down and talk to each other and have a relationship. And in our society, a lot of it is the food. It's coming to restaurants, it is coming, hopefully and ideally, to your own kitchen and eating homemade meals in the traditional way or in a more quick way, mm -hmm. um, and to have conversations with each other. Um, a recent study said that it's not about eating together completely as it is about talking together while you're eating. We multitask. We may as well as multitask the meal and develop relationships at the mm -hmm. same time. And that's where my passion is, and I really want to teach people how to fit healthy living, healthy eating, that is, into their daily life 
whatever that is. If you're a traveling business person and you're on the road a lot, that means looking differently at the menus that you look at every day, three times a day, because you can't cook at home. Or for the lucky people who do get to stay home and who have the opportunity to cook at home, so figure out how to make a wholesome meal quickly so you're not slaving in the kitchen and so you can get out there and go to the soccer games, go to the art shows, but also have shared a wholesome meal. And so I teach people how to think differently about that because that's where my passion is. And uh, Tisha and I work together to educate the people, um, our readers, about uh, healthy living and the involvement that we can have in our communities. Our communities still exist. We just need to get out there and get involved in them. Right. Right. And and it's great to to have your business as your passion because really if you're not passionate about your business, most likely you're going to hate doing it. Right. And it's and you're not going to be successful at it because other people are going to see you're either in it just for the money or you just really don't stand behind you, you, you don't project who you who you truly are and who, and what you really care about and people won't do business unless they know that you care. Right. I get emails from Tisha at five o'clock in the morning because she is up and she's <laughs> excited about business and I don't know why else you're awake. I don't but, know why. Um, you know, but it's great to get emails like that because I, then I have more things on my to-do list. Mm -hmm. But it's fun and it's it is something that we want to get up for. It is not hard to get up in the morning early to get going in because you're doing the things that you feel so strongly about, whether that is running a newspaper to educate the community, or cooking and teaching cooking classes, or helping women learn that technology is a tool in our hands that we can use and we don't have to be afraid of this monster. It's a passion and it makes it's it a so passion. much easier. It is. It is. Isn't that exciting? Well, here's what I'd like to do. I would like for you to announce what your business is and where they can find you. What is your contact information? And then we'll go to Tisha. Okay. Uh, I'm the president of Thrive Lifestyles. You can find my website at www.thrivelifestyles with an S at the end, dot com. And there's information about classes that I'm going to be teaching as well as my vision uh, and mission for nutrition consulting. All right. And do you have your, your email address and your phone number oh, on yes. that site? Yes, I do. It is Kimberly at ThriveLifestyles.com. Please email me. I entertain questions, random thoughts, uh, ideas of how to get peanut butter out of the bottom of a jar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to email you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you knew Yeah, next time I'm out of peanut butter, I'm going to give you a call at 5 in the morning. How about that? Oh, great. <laughs> Text me. <Yeah. laughs> I had no idea you had so much knowledge. <laughs> Again, my name is Tisha Cassida, and the name of my company is That's Natural Marketing and Consulting. The name of the publication is That's Natural. My website is www.backtothesource.biz. You can also Google in That's Natural Pueblo, it should pop up. And um, my contact information as far as email and phone number are on there. All right. And well, this is it for this segment, and I just really want to invite all of you out there, whether you be young or a little bit older. <laughs> <laughs> if you're passionate about something, let's help you figure out how you can make that into a business where you can get income from that and love what you're doing. It's really what Gutsy Women is all about. So please join us. Please come to GutsyWomen.com. Um, either that or debbiedusick.com, my Ning, which is gutsywomen.ning.com. There's all kinds of information that you can learn, all kinds of learning to be had, but also the camaraderie. Other people are involved. Just come join us. Thank you very much. See you next time.